that's scary to wake up to. Residents at this Denton apartment complex woke up to screaming and someone banging on doors and knocking out lights. He um, was going around beating on all the neighbors' doors, talking about he needed to be saved by God and he could need to save them. Denton police say when they arrived, they tried talking to the suspect, but he wouldn't communicate. When our subject came down the stairs and it would appear to be holding at least one frying pan, a meat cleaver, and possibly a third object, which we may, may have been a knife. Police say they ordered him to drop the objects in his hand. When he refused, they tased him. That didn't work, so they tased him again, and that still didn't work. They say he charged at officers and stabbed one officer in the shoulder. Another officer fired multiple times, killing the suspect. As soon as I heard the gunshots, I just immediately thought he's probably dead. The Denton police chief says the suspect was suffering from some sort of mental health crisis, but does not know if he was on drugs. They are waiting for a toxicology report. Any time that a life is taken, no matter the circumstance, is tragic and we don't want it to happen. The Denton police chief says that the officers are taught to put time, space and distance between them and someone who is suffering from a mental health crisis. He also says that they are taught to de-escalate. The Texas Rangers will look into the shooting. Uh, meanwhile, the Denton Police Department will conduct an internal affairs investigation. In Denton, I'm Rebecca Lowe.